fine, fine guy who I was like, wow, I really think like just looking at him and speak, like hearing him talk and everything, I'm like, wow, I feel like if I met him and we made out <laughs> that we would fall in love. <laughs> so he was like so, your celebrity crush. He was my past. He was my past and everybody knew it. Pass? What does that mean? Pass? Hmm. I can't believe that. Tell me you did not just say that. What does Kim mean by pass? Does she mean passing like a hall pass? What does that mean, Kim? Were you are you trying to tell us something, Kim? Let's get more to it. But that's how kind of where a pass. I'm gonna play that back. Make sure you guys heard that correctly. He was my past, not past, not P-A-S-T, past, P-A-S-S. -S. Let's, let's play that back. He was like uh -oh. your celebrity crush. He was my past. He was my past and everybody knew it. <laughs> he was my past and everybody knew it. Hmm, that's weird. He was your past. What does that mean? That What does that mean at all? That seemed weird. Pass. That's that's strange. Does that mean like a hall pass? Like you get a pass to if you're in a relationship or marriage that he's the one guy you would get with no matter who you with? I don't know. Let's just continue on. Let's see what Kim Orton meant by that. Said pass. Let's see. Let's get back to the interview. Everybody okay. knew. Yeah, everybody knew he was my past. And it was like, you know, if it happens, you know, it, it happens. And and it was so strange because I lived up uh, upstate New York at the time that I met him. And there was this little tiny, in Poughkeepsie, this little tiny um, arena and the Civic Center, the Poughkeepsie Civic Center. And I'm driving and I hear, oh, WWE's Randy Orton and this one and that one is coming to the Pipsy Civic Center. And I'm like, what? There's no, <laughs> there's no way that he's coming 10 minutes from my house. And so I'm like, boop, 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 boop. You know, like calling for <laughs> tickets, right? I'm like, all right, we're getting tickets to the show. And we got tickets and we, I took my two oldest. My youngest was too little. He was three at the time. And I took the boys to the show and it was so crazy because we got there like 30 minutes before uh, doors opened and uh, cause they all wanted pictures. And I'm like, I mean, all right, you know, maybe <laughs> you get to see Randy. And so we're standing outside and he, he, his bus was there and it was the only bus there. And we have all these pictures of like Daniel Bryan walking in and Dolph and Roman and like all of these just random people walking in and taking pictures of them. And we waited and waited and waited. And I remember it being so hot out and my kids were getting mad. They were like, let's go inside already. And I'm like, well, don't you want to wait to see if Randy comes off the bus? <laughs> Making videos on YouTube involves a lot of writing. Grammarly is an AI writing partner that can They're like, no. Your kids no. Yeah. Well, don't you want to wait to see if Randy comes off the bus? <laughs> and they're like, your kids no. Yeah. Literally. They're like, yeah, they're like, no, we don't care, mom. And I'm like, all right. So uh, we go inside and I made my kids make a sign. And Re Giovanna reminded me of this. I didn't, or Michael reminded me of this. I didn't even remember, but I remember going to the mall on the way to the show and we made a sign that said, uh, Randy Orton, RKO my mom. <laughs> and so <laughs> we bring it to the show and this dude, he just like, he walks out and I'm standing at the barricade with my phone and he's like, hmm, hmm, looking. <laughs> And he goes into the ring and he's wrestling and he keeps like turning back and I'm like. So did you have like, front row seats? No, we were like in the eighth row. I still have oh, my ticket. Oh, wow. I still have my ticket. 
And Aww. yeah, I know it was a printed up ticket. Um, and the girl, some random girl that was sitting next to me, she's like, I think he keeps looking at you. And I'm like, I think he too I'm like, oh my god i didn't want to say anything and so he now matches over i go back to the barricade and he's walking through and he's like you know doing the i'm too you know cool for school and slick and everything and he's walking past and he's taking pictures with all these people and then he stops right in front of me and he's like uh do you want to take a picture and i'm like yeah and he's like <laughs> all right and he's like uh What's your name? Because I got to get to know all of this. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. Like everything in my body was shaking. And I was trying to be so cool. But I actually gave the security guard my phone number. And the security guard walked outside and gave me his phone number. And literally 30 seconds after the security guard gave him my phone number. He was texting me and he's like, Hey, you know, there's this diner I'm going to, you know, would you want to meet me? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And I go and I meet him and we hung out for like an hour and I got in my car to leave. And, uh, before I sat down in my car, he was texting me and he was like, I never met anybody like you. I'm so glad I met you tonight. You're so cool. And, I'm going to be around for the next couple of days. Would you want to hang out? And like from that day, that was it. Wow. It's like we've been together since that day. I, I, it, that's it an amazing craziest, story. It was the craziest thing. Because again, you're giving hope to everybody who <laughs> has ever had a celebrity crush in wrestling, in movies, in sports. Like, yeah, you're you're like the one in a million or maybe more i know i know How does no, you don't happen, have to right? get those front row seats yeah. ladies you, you can don't. be an eighth you can be in a tenth <laughs> if it's meant, you to be, it's meant to be at any point kim were you not like you say that to all the girls you meet in every town oh, you go to 100 percent. like when after our first conversation was over i told him i was like not for nothing i'm totally surprised that the man that you are like the person that you are because i thought you were going to be some arrogant asshole mm. just because of who you are on tv i just assumed you were like that and five minutes into our conversation it was all about like oh i have a little girl and i have a little boy and he has playoff games you know, this weekend. And it was like, immediately we started talking about normal shit, yeah. you know? Oh, like what kind of TV do you like to watch? What kind of music you into? Like just right away. Mm -hmm. And from that night, it was like five hour phone calls every mm -hmm. night, every night and texting all day. And when can you come see me? And, you know, right from the beginning, and nobody in my family, it's the funniest thing. Cause like for the longest time, they're like, Kim is winning. They would just hashtag everything, winning, winning, winning. Cause they're like, I've never heard of any, cause they all heard me talk about him for like two, three years. He's my best. When I see him, we're gonna make out and he's gonna fall in love with me. And we made out and he fell in love with me. <laughs> and like, that's, that's why we call her Saint Kim. Saint Kim. <laughs> Thank him. Manifest. Okay, all right. That is the end of one part. One interview of Kim Orton talked to Chris Van Fleet, talking about how she met her, her husband, Randy Orton. What did you guys think of that? Now, let me give you my thoughts on this interview. I thought that uh, Kim, it's nice how she met Randy. It's nice how they got together, but... That does not happen every day you meet a man like that. And it seemed like she was on, she was giving me kind of um, uh, kind of a stalker kind of vibe. So she was kind of a stalker. I mean, I'm going to call it. It was she was stalking for Randy Orton. You guys in the locker room let me know. She said she was waiting for him outside the tour bus, made that sign for him, made it noticeable. She made sure she got Randy Orton's attention. She made sure her sons made that sign everything she watched him on tv remember she said she let her sons know whenever randy's on tv come get mom so 
seemed like she was always on Orton, you know? Yeah, she said that's her past. But my question is, like I said, was she married at the time while she met Randy? I wonder what she married, because it seemed like she said past. If she was a single woman, she would say, yo, I was a single woman, blah, blah. She never mentioned that she was single and alone at that time when she met Randy Orton. I wonder what she married to her her boys, her sons, they dad. I think she only, uh, I think she had all three of her sons with one man. But I wonder, did she have a, you know, did she have, a, was she married at the time? That's the crazy part about it. Was she married at the time? Because it seems like something's kind of off. That's just crazy to me. Um, that's just wild, man. It's wild. It's, it's wild. Um, I don't know. I feel like she, she it's like she was she was married at the time. I don't know. But I know I know this is a rare occasion. Let's see what you guys think so far. Gerard said this is female privilege. Guys can never get as lucky as Kim did. Nope. Kim used her, her beauty and made is her female and her femininity to make sure she got to Orton. Spider-Man. Giovanna, Giovanna loves Kurt because his status. We gonna get more into that another stream, Gerard. Giovanna Angle versus Kurt. As a matter of fact, do you guys want me to talk about that couple next? Will that be the next couple? Kurt Angle and Giovanna Angle. Because I heard I heard their story too, but I'm not gonna talk about that story. But yeah, I kind of got that feeling too, Gerard. Ken was giving groupie vibes. That's what I'm saying. Kind of stalkerish. Waiting outside the tour bus. Remember, she said it was hot outside. She said her son was like, can we go inside? She like, don't you want to see Randy Yarden? Don't you want to see him? You know, that, that's crazy. You said who wouldn't want Kim stalking him? She's lovely. She is lovely. But here's the thing. I don't want... I, She's nice looking, but I don't want to get to the point where it becomes a restraining order. I don't want to get to the point where I have to call police and say, I need order protection. Some stalkers do take it far. Remember, Randy is still a celebrity, He's especially in the wrestling world. In the wrestling world, he's still a known name. So sometimes it can go a little further than that. Remember, Sonya Deville had a stalker against her man a few years ago, and he's doing time for that right now. So we got to... We gotta, you know, pump the brakes. We gotta be cautious with these stalkers. Some of them, they get a little, little too comfortable. But yes, Kim's very attractive. As I stated before, but it just seemed like I don't know. Ah, I feel like Kim is a stalker. And then the question is too. Not only is she a stalker. Another question I have is: Kim a real one or is she a gold digger? That's the question too. Is she a real one? Is she with Randy just because of his name, his brand, or is because of status and money and all of that? Is that the question here between these two? Is Kim a gold digger or not? Um, that's the question we have here. But that's just one interview so far. And you say um, only celebrity men get restrained or not average men. You're right. Celebrity men, yes. But we got to ask that question with Kim and Randy Orton. That is definitely interesting to know. Definitely interesting to know between these two. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be wild though. Definitely gonna be wild between these guys, between these two. But yeah, this was an interview. Like I said Giovanna Angle. We'll talk about her at some given point. I'll talk about her and Kurt, but I just want to stick to the Ortons. But we're gonna talk about this one. And like I said, that's just interview one. Thing about it is, people are saying, they're saying it, they're saying it, not me, they're saying it, um, they said that she was married, according to the interview in the comment section, they're saying that she was married, and, um, and they said that some, it, it says, it comes off as that. 